States and Territories of Australia officially known as the Commonwealth of Australia is a federation of six states, together with ten federal territories. The Australian mainland consists of five of the six federated states and three of the federal territories the internal territories. The state of Tasmania is an island about 200 kilometres 120 miles south of the mainland. The remaining seven territories are classified for some purposes as external territories. All states and the two largest internal territories are partially self-governing, as well as being represented in the federal parliament, the other territories are administered by the federal government. Since 2015, federal control has also been extended to the formerly self-governing territory of Norfolk Island. The third internal territory is the Jervis Bay Territory which is on the coast of New South Wales south of Sydney and east of Canberra. Three of the external territories are inhabited, the others are uninhabited, apart from temporary resident scientists. Geographic <inaudible> <inaudible> Australia <inaudible> The term Geographic Australia is used by the Australian government to describe the area covered by demographic statistics such as national population figures. This area comprises Christmas Island and the Cocos Keeling Islands in addition to the six states and three mainland territories. Norfolk Island is the only territory with a permanent population that is not part of geographic Australia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> States, territories and external territories. All states, internal territories and the external territory of Coral Sea Islands were part of Australia at Federation and are constitutionally part of the Commonwealth. Northern Territory was part of South Australia, Australian Capital Territory and Jervis Bay Territory were part of New South Wales, and Coral Sea Islands was part of Queensland. Ashmore and Cartier Islands was accepted by Australia in 1934 and annexed to Northern Territory prior to the adoption of the Statute of Westminster in 1942 and, as such, is deemed to form part of Australia proper. Cocos Keeling Islands voted for integration in 1984. Together with Christmas Island, Commonwealth laws apply automatically to the territory unless expressly stated otherwise and residents of both external territories are associated with Northern Territory for federal elections. They are, thus, constitutionally part of Australia. Uninhabited Heard and Macdonald Island is treated as constitutionally part of Australia by the central government. The constitutional status of the Australian Antarctic Territory is unclear, with successive governments treating it either as a separate territory as in the United Kingdom and Norway or an integral part of the country as in New Zealand and France. As of 2018, the present government appears to take the view that it is not constitutionally part of Australia. Norfolk Island's status is controversial, with the present as of 2018 government taking measures to integrate the territory into Australia proper, including representation in parliament and compulsory voting. The Norfolk Islanders have not formally consented to this change in constitutional status and assert that they are not Australian. Defunct territories Three territories established by the federal government under Section 122 of the Constitution of Australia no longer exist Central Australia 1926 consisting of the area of the current Northern Territory south of the 20th parallel south North Australia 1926 to 1931 consisting of the area of the current Northern Territory north of the 20th parallel south Territory of Papua 1905 to 1975 additionally two other areas were administered by Australia as de facto external territories Territory of Nauru 1920 to 1968 Territory of New Guinea 1920 to 1975 Both New Guinea and Nauru were originally German territories but were occupied by Australian forces during World War 1 and subsequently made League of Nations mandates They later became United Nations Trust territories The Papua and New Guinea Act 1949 placed the territory of New Guinea in an administrative union with the territory of Papua the territory of Papua and New Guinea was eventually given independence as Papua New Guinea in 1975. Nauru was granted independence in 1968. 
<laughs> Background and overview The states originated as separate British colonies prior to Federation in 1901. The colony of New South Wales was founded in 1788 and originally comprised much of the Australian mainland, as well as Lord Howe Island, New Zealand, Norfolk Island, and Van Diemen's Land, in addition to the area currently referred to as the state of New South Wales. During the 19th century, large areas were successively separated to form the colony of Tasmania initially established as a separate colony named Van Diemen's Land in 1825, the colony of Western Australia initially established as the smaller Swan River Colony in 1829, the province of South Australia 1836, the colony of New Zealand 1840, the Victoria Colony 1851, and the colony of Queensland 1859. Upon federation, the six colonies of New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia, and Tasmania became the founding states of the new Commonwealth of Australia. Legislative powers of the states are protected by the Australian Constitution, Section 107, and under the principle of federalism Commonwealth legislation only applies to the states where permitted by the Constitution. The territories, by contrast, are from a constitutional perspective directly subject to the Commonwealth Government. Laws for territories are determined by the Australian Parliament. Most of the territories are directly administered by the Commonwealth Government, while two, the Northern Territory and the Australian Capital Territory, have some degree of self-government, although less than that of the states. In the self-governing territories, the Australian Parliament retains the full power to legislate, and can override laws made by the territorial institutions, which it has done on rare occasions. For the purposes of Australian and joint Australia -New Zealand intergovernmental bodies, the Northern Territory and the Australian Capital Territory are treated as if they were states. Each state has a governor, appointed by the Queen, which by convention she does on the advice of the state premier. The Administrator of the Northern Territory, by contrast, is appointed by the Governor-General. The Australian Capital Territory has neither a Governor nor an Administrator, but the Governor-General exercises some powers that in other jurisdictions are exercised by the Governor of a State or Administrator of a Territory, such as the power to dissolve the Legislative Assembly. Jervis Bay Territory is the only non-self-governing internal territory. Until 1989, it was administered as if it were a part of the ACT, although it has always been a separate territory. Under the terms of the Jervis Bay Territory Acceptance Act 1915, the laws of the ACT apply to the Jervis Bay Territory insofar as they are applicable and providing they are not inconsistent with an ordinance. Although residents of the Jervis Bay Territory are generally subject to laws made by the ACT Legislative Assembly, they are not represented in the Assembly. They are represented in the Parliament of Australia as part of the electoral division of Fraser in the ACT and by the Act's two senators. In other respects, the territory is administered directly by the federal government through the territory's portfolio. The external territory of Norfolk Island possessed a degree of self-government from 1979 until 2015. Each state has a bicameral parliament except Queensland, which abolished its upper house in 1922. The lower house is called the Legislative Assembly, except in South Australia and Tasmania, where it is called the House of Assembly. Tasmania is the only state to use proportional representation for elections to its lower house, all others elect members from single-member constituencies, using preferential voting. The upper house is called the Legislative Council and is generally elected from multi-member constituencies using proportional representation. The three self-governing territories, the ACT, the Northern Territory, and Norfolk Island, each have unicameral legislative assemblies. The head of government of each state is called the Premier, appointed by the state's governor. In normal circumstances, the governor will appoint as Premier whoever leads the party or coalition which exercises control of the lower house in the case of Queensland, the only house of the state parliament. However, in times of constitutional crisis, the governor can appoint someone else as premier. The head of government of the self-governing internal territories is called the chief minister. The Northern Territory's chief minister, in normal circumstances whoever controls the legislative assembly, is appointed by the administrator. Timeline 
1788 – British Empire establishes colony of New South Wales across central and eastern mainland Australia, the island of Tasmania, both islands of New Zealand and Norfolk Island. 1803 – The Coral Sea Islands are claimed by New South Wales. 1825 – The island of Tasmania becomes the independent colony of Van Diemen's Land. New South Wales extends its borders further west in mainland Australia. 1829 – British Empire establishes Swan River Colony in western mainland Australia 1832 – Swan River Colony is renamed the Colony of Western Australia 1841 – The islands of New Zealand become the independent colony of New Zealand. Much of eastern Antarctica is annexed by Britain as Victoria Land. 1844 – New South Wales transfers Norfolk Island to Van Diemen's Land. 1846 – Northern Central and Eastern Australia briefly become the independent colony of North Australia, then are returned to New South Wales. 1851 – Southeastern Mainland Australia becomes the independent colony of Victoria. 1856 – Van Diemen's Land is renamed the colony of Tasmania. Norfolk Island becomes the independent colony of Norfolk Island, however it is to be administered by the same governor as New South Wales. 1857 – Much of southern central mainland Australia becomes the independent colony of South Australia. The Cocos Keeling Islands are annexed by Britain. 1859 – Northeastern mainland Australia and Coral Sea Islands become the independent colony of Queensland. 1860 – A pocket of New South Wales territory remaining in southern central mainland Australia is transferred to South Australia. 1862 – Some of New South Wales's northern central mainland Australian territory is transferred to Queensland. 1863 – New South Wales's remaining northern central mainland Australian territory is transferred to South Australia. 1878 – Britain annexes Ashmore Island. 1883 – Queensland annexes southeastern New Guinea. 1884 – Southeastern New Guinea becomes the independent territory of Papua. 1886 – The Cocos Islands are to be administered by the same governor as the Strait Settlements. 1888 – Christmas Island is annexed by Britain and incorporated into the Strait Settlements. 1897 – Norfolk Island is officially reintegrated into New South Wales. 1901 – New South Wales, Tasmania, Western Australia, Victoria and South Australia federate into the Commonwealth of Australia. Queensland transfers the Coral Sea Islands to the federal government, creating a federal external territory. 1902 – Britain transfers Papua to Australia as an external territory. 1903 – The Cocos Islands are incorporated into the Straits Settlements. 1909 – Britain annexes Cartier Island. 1910 – Britain claims Heard Island and the Macdonald Islands. 1911 – The state of South Australia transfers control of northern central mainland Australia to the federal government, creating the Northern Territory. A small pocket of New South Wales around the city of Canberra is transferred to the federal government who are seated within it, creating the Federal Capital Territory. 1913 – New South Wales transfers Norfolk Island to the federal government, making it a federal external territory. 1915 – A small pocket of New South Wales around Jervis Bay is transferred to the federal government and incorporated into the federal capital territory. 1920 – Following the defeat of the German Empire in World War I, the League of Nations establishes an Australian mandate in northeastern New Guinea, it becomes the external territory of New Guinea. 1923 – Another conquered German territory, the island of Nauru, is established as an Australian mandate and external territory by the League of Nations, this time as a co-mandate with Britain and New Zealand. 1927 – The Northern Territory is split into two territories, North Australia and Central Australia. 1930 – Remaining territory in eastern Antarctica is annexed by Britain as Enderby Land. 1931 – North Australia and Central Australia are reincorporated as the Northern Territory. Britain recognises Australia as possessors of the uninhabited Ashmore and Cartier Islands, making them an external federal territory. 1933 – Britain transfers Victoria Land and Enderby Land to Australia, creating the Australian Antarctic Territory, with ongoing limited international recognition. 1938 – The Federal Capital Territory is renamed the Australian Capital Territory. 
1942 The Japanese Empire conquers Nauru from Australia, Britain and New Zealand as part of World War II. Japan also conquers much of the Straits settlements, including Christmas Island. The Cocos Islands are not conquered and are transferred to the colony of Salong. 1946 – The United Nations, the successor to the League of Nations, renews its mandate of New Guinea to Australia. 1947 – Following the defeat of Japan in World War II, the United Nations returns Nauru to Australia, Britain and New Zealand as a joint mandate. Christmas Island returns to Britain and is incorporated into the colony of Singapore. The Cocos Islands are also transferred to Singapore. 1949 – Papua and New Guinea are incorporated into the singular territory of Papua and New Guinea. Britain transfers Heard Island and the Macdonald Islands to Australia, creating a federal external territory. 1955 – Britain transfers the Cocos Islands to Australia, they become an external territory. 1958 – Britain transfers Christmas Island to Australia, it becomes an external territory. 1966 – The Republic of Nauru is established, ending Australian, British, New Zealander control of the island. 1975 – Papua and New Guinea becomes the independent state of Papua New Guinea, ending British, Australian control. 1989 – Jervis Bay becomes independent of the ACT, becoming the Jervis Bay Territory. Topic. Comparative terminology. Topic. Governors and administrators of states and territories Topic. Premiers and chief ministers of states and territories Topic. State and territorial parliaments Parliament of New South Wales Parliament of Queensland Parliament of South Australia Parliament of Tasmania Parliament of Victoria Parliament of Western Australia Northern Territory Legislative Assembly Australian Capital Territory Legislative Assembly Topic: State and Territory Supreme Courts Supreme Court of the Australian Capital Territory Supreme Court of New South Wales Supreme Court of the Northern Territory Supreme Court of Queensland Supreme Court of South Australia Supreme Court of Tasmania Supreme Court of Victoria Supreme Court of Western Australia Supreme Court of Norfolk Island State and Territory Police Forces Australian Capital Territory Police performed by Australian Federal Police New South Wales Police Northern Territory Police Queensland Police South Australia Police Tasmania Police Victoria Police Western Australia Police State and Territory Borders Australian Capital Territory Border New South Wales Borders Northern Territory Borders Queensland Borders South Australian Borders Tasmanian Borders Victorian Borders Western Australia Border Statistics Topic Distance Table Distance in kilometres from the corresponding city on the XY axis. Topic State and Territory Codes See also 
ISO 3166-2, O, the ISO codes for the states and territories of Australia. Australian regional rivalries List of Australian demonyms List of proposed states of Australia Notes <laughs>